Let's be real. I'm not going to tell you about what you should do when you are dealing with images in Filament, because as you know, if you are uploading images to the server using Filament, uh, you have to clean up there yourself. You have to make sure that the files that you created are deleted. But what happens when, for example, you have multiple images in one single record? and you need to update that record and delete just one image. That's what I'm going to show you today. Take, for example, this website. It's a simple resource created with filament, and I'm administrating a list of uh, cars, and each car can have multiple images. Right now, we have two cars, and each car has one image. If we go to VS Code and we examine the storage folder, we can see that, in fact, we only have two images, one for each Car. And the way that I'm handling this is by having an images column in my cars table. And that column is being casted as JSON, which means that every time I read from the images column, that is going to be casted as an array. And every time I write into that column, it's going to be transformed into a JSON string. So yeah, uh, the example applies. What happens if I delete a record? That's uh, a very common example that means that that image should be gone and that is working as you can see we only have one image now because in my booted function of the model i have a deleted event where i simply go through all of the images in that car and just delete the files very simple right but what happens if for example i come here and i edit this car and I need more images for this car. So I open this and find maybe one or two more images and I upload those and there they are. And as soon as I save, I should have now three images in my storage. And as you can see, there they are, we have three images. And if I were to delete this uh, car, again, files will be gone. But what if I just need to delete one? I can go back and say I want to edit. And then let's say I just want to delete this first one. It ends with PBZ. So I delete that, save changes. In the database, I still I have only two images. But if I go back to VS Code, I still have three images in storage. And the one that I needed to delete, it's still there. So how do we solve this? Basically, we just need to add one more function here to the booted method, and that is going to be the updating function. In this case, I'm going to act before the information has been persisted to the database because I need access to the original state of my car model. So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing an images to delete variable, which is equal to the difference of the original state of the images column by using the get original method on the model and the current state of the images column so to give you a quick example of how that works basically let's imagine that we have the original array that had three images image one image two and image three before uh, at the time we are running the updating method the current value of the images is going to be image one and image three imagining that we deleted image two so if we do a div or array div comparing the original with the current array what we get is just an array with the image that we want to delete so going back to vs code we get the array of images that we want to delete and again we do a for each for each image and simply say storage delete so now let's go back and check on our storage folder we have two images if we, if we go back to the website and edit again let's pretend that we want to delete another image here and then save changes we have one image in the database and only one file in our storage folder and that's it if you want to know more be sure to check my live stream that I do on Saturdays. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.